Hey, Chef Dice here at the north end of Boston. We're gonna do two, two restaurant segments here. One is gonna be Mike's Pastries with their incredible lobster pastry and of, their, of course their famous cannoli. I'm starving. And of course, right around this corner, right here, we're gonna do Neptune's Oysters. I heard that's gonna be the, one of the best lobster rolls you're gonna get here in Boston. And of, man, I'm starving. Can't wait to show you guys this. And you know what? Stay tuned for more of this kind of content here at Boston or wherever in the country we go. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Chef Dice out. Opening up in about five minutes, we're gonna go to um, Neptune's Oyster. So, how long is the wait? How long have you been waiting? Eight more minutes, and look at the line. All the way down here at Boston. Unbelievable. Can't wait. Oysters and the line still out there. We were there for about an hour. We could have video inside, but you know what? The, the food was exceptional. Um, the only drawback was the clam clam chowder was not for my liking. They, this is one of those um, soupy clam chowders. It's kind of on the loose loose side. Potatoes, bits of clams. But um, what was excellent, was, for my surprise, was the clam, the deep fried clam with the tartar sauce, and. That was good, yeah? And of course, they're known for their lobster roll. Of course, grilled um, charred bread. Um, choice of buttered lobster or cold lobster with mayo. But we, we op opted for the, um, the hot lobster with a side mayo with french fries. But again, that was, that was really good. Um, looks like had about maybe a, a pound and a half of worth of lobster meat in there. And that was excellent. Fresh lobster. You can tell when it's fresh or frozen, but it was good. But yeah, the drawback was, um, of course, the, the chowder. I won't. I won't recommend you to purchase the chowder. Uh, wasn't to my um, liking. The flavor was there. You could taste the clams and the, the broth. But besides that, it was more on the loose side, watery side. Wasn't to my uh, liking. Well. Well, everybody's used to, to the clam chowder that's thick. So if you're not used to, to a clam chowder that's not thick, um, this is not for you. But again, if you like this kind of content, like, subscribe, hit that notification button. We're gonna walk it off right now. But again, till we eat again, here at Boston, Chef Dice out. Hey guys, we're here. Chef Dice is here in North End Boston to check out this place, Mike's Pastry, known for their lobster tails and cannolis. So let's go check it out. Uh, this is what I saw on one of the must eats here in Boston for pastries.
what, I'll do a quick one. What um, should I order here? Chocolate chicken noli, pistachio, chocolate covered, lobster tail, Florentine cannoli, uh -huh. Neapolitan. Neapolitan? Yes. So you, what is your famous for over here? Cannoli and lobster tail. Okay, I'm gonna get one lobster tail yeah. and the uh, ricotta. Cannoli. Cannoli, two of that. Okay. What you got for me? Espresso cannoli. Ah, oh, espresso cannoli. And we have the ricotta and the lobster tail. Yeah. Look how big it is. Yes. All right, let's go. Nice. And you guys pack them in the boxes. Ricotta. Thank you. I'll take a picture now. Thank you. So, my wife and I, we're here in front of the, the storefront, but we're gonna try their cannoli. We got their famous ricotta cannoli. Gonna take a bite? Take a bite in that. And then she gave me her second best. That lady was so nice. We have um, the espresso cannoli. Yeah, eat it right in front of the camera. So oh my goodness, this is delicious. Good? Look how big it is. Oh, the car is all filthy. Look at this. Look, look at this. Like a shell, and then basically pipe the, the mixture in there. But this is uh, espresso flavored, as you can see. Good thing. Oh, oh this is good. Mmm. The special one is going to get me going. I'm going to eat that stuff. Ricotta filling in a pastry shell. As you can see, they stuffed it. They just piped it in. But this is not, no. This is about six inches long. Yeah? Pretty long. I'm going to try it. Mm. The flavors are amazing. Oh, one more time. Oh. I like the ricotta. Very good. Just got off the plane and then we came straight here to try the pastries and you know what did not disappoint our first not even an hour here in Boston all right next one look at how busy they are they just open just open everybody's walking in as, as you guys can see it's very good There's, As you can see this is a lobster tail you know as you can flaky pastry filled with a nice filling that's humongous guys this is about an easy pound look at that humongous what kind of filling is in there i just think this is ricotta filling again sweet cream but again let's see how i attack this it's humongous Why do they call it a lobster? Yeah. Call it a lobster because it resembles a lobster or a seashell. Lobster or seashell. But again, oh, look, it's two different kinds of creams in here, it looks like. Lobster. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's the shell. Well, we came here kind of hungry. I'm glad we just bought one. 
one lobster tail, one cannoli, but we just had, a, had to add another one. But again, this is humongous. Here we go. Right, right, right up here. What is it? Puff pastry? Yeah. It's a flaky dough. Puff pastry. But again, hey guys. You're here in North End, Boston. Come on down and check out Mike's Pastries. First thing we've done. It's going to be, um, they open from 8 in the morning to 10 at night, believe it or not. So, you know, people start, we got here when, when there's nobody here. We got here at 7.30. But again, as you can see, these guys are working, working, busy, busy, busy. While we're eating here, local style, Hawaii style, just eating. But again, check it out here at Mike's Pastries. All right. If you like this kind of content, like and subscribe and hit that notification button. Till we eat again, Chef Dice out.